Right guys, once again welcome back to another video. We're at number 33. We are officially in the top third. That's a good feeling. I don't know how you're feeling about it, but I'm feeling fucking good. <laughs> Nick Chubb, running back for the Browns. He's an absolute bowling ball. Um, you know, I think he's around 5'10". Certainly not 6 foot. Must be about 5'10", 230, something like that. Maybe even 240. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, look, he's uh, he, he doesn't say much. He's not a big communicator. But the way that he, you know, he, he certainly translates that on the field. He doesn't need to talk. He lets uh, his actions do the talking, as they say. So without further ado, let's let's have a look at uh, what his fellow players have to say about the 33rd ranked player in the NFL for the year of 2022. Nick Chubb. There's a lot of backs I can think of. You know, obviously Jonathan Taylor, he's a stud. You know, he could do it all. Guys like Nick Chubb, he's another one very similar to Taylor. They run downhill with bad intentions. Those two, they definitely stick out to me. Yeah, you know, yeah. geez, Max, I, I, I have to agree. When they're running downhill, so to speak, but not only that, they're running with bad intentions. They want to initiate the contact. They actually want to hurt you. They want to hurt you as a linebacker. Or a defensive end. Or a safety. Or a corner. Not easy, is it? Now, I don't know. I'd be very surprised if we hear one single peep out of this guy, but I'd love to. I really would love to hear him talk. I don't know if we're going to get that, but uh can only hope. He's consistent. Nick Chubb is fire. Nick Chubb is fire. Don't say a word. Y'all y'all know Nick? There's some guys that are high maintenance, some guys that are low maintenance. Chubb is no maintenance. Nope. <laughs> He just goes out there, does his job, mate. And that's the thing. As a coaching staff, no maintenance. You know? No no, no, no special meetings, no counselling sessions, none of that. He just goes out there and does it. No maintenance. No maintenance. Oh, that's good to hear. He shows up, does his thing, doesn't say Nick Chubb's play does plenty of talking. I like that. In 2021, he rushed for over 1,250 yards yeah. at over five and a half yards per carry. Yeah. 1,200, not bad. Oh Get off goodness. me, son. The way he hits the hole, his balance. I mean, Before getting into this, I do need to just confirm his stats. Nick Minnett. Nicholas Jamal Chubb is 26 years of age. December 27th, 1995. He's still in the first half of his NFL career. How good. 5'11", 227 pounds. Went to Georgia from 14 to 17. Got picked up in the second round of the 2018 draft with pick number 35. He's been to the Browns ever since. Three-time Pro Bowler, 19, 20, and 21. Runs a 4.52 40-yard dash, 38 inches, 38 and a half inches in the vertical, which is fucking crazy. 10 foot 8 in the broad jump, 29 reps on the bench. Are you fucking joking? 29 reps with 225 pounds? What? That's more than most linemen, for God's sake. Four seasons in the league, 58 games, uh, 4,816 yards, including, you know what? Since 2018, I reckon he would have scored the most rushing yards in the entire league. He's almost got 1,000 receiving yards too. Holy fucking shit. 4,816 rushing yards over 58 games in four seasons, including 1,400... Look, let's just run through this. 996, 1,494, 1,067, 1,259. Now, if he had had four more yards in that first season, he'd be 1,000 plus every single year. And you know what? He deserves it. 36 rushing touchdowns. He scored three receiving touchdowns. So he's, you know, I wouldn't say he's a double threat, but he's certainly an absolute beast. When he gets that ball off the quarterback and he's told to just run downhill, smash some cunts. And that's what he does. He's only fumbled the ball six times in 908 rushing attempts. That's Nick Chubb. You better bring it with him. I want to hear him say something. Oh, bro. Oh, go, son. If he's not in the game, they're not the same team. He's everything to the offense. I mean, the guy makes, he's the engine. He makes everything go. That's a nice 60 frame C connection here. Hang on, how many attempts? That's the thing, how many attempts? 908 attempts over four years. 
including th- he had he had almost 300 attempts in 2019 and 228 last year. I mean, how's his body feeling? That's the thing. I'm not going to say reduce his workload, but you got to feel for his body. How, how many touches has he got? <laughs> Oh, son. I like the 24s out there. The way he works, you know, in the weight room on the field, the way he practices and carries them. Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plates. That's 300 kilograms, a.k.a. 675 pounds. Himself is just as impressive. You know, the great part about him is you I ain't seen anything as impressive as that since bloody Tristan Wirfs jumping out of a pool or Saquon Barkley fucking cleaning 495 odd pounds. You gotta hold your block for a little bit and there's a- I wanna watch that again. Look at the way the bar bends, The way the he works, bends, you know, in the weight room on the field, the way he practices- Right, no fake weights here. Oh my god. just as impressive. Oh my god. You know, the great part about him- Oh my god. Squatting 300 pounds. Squatting 300 kgs. Playing running back. With the attitude he has. <laughs> He's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. You only got to hold your block for a little bit, and there's a chance you're going to break a long one. Wow. I see they motion the tight end over. That's a running formation. I remember that when we were playing them. He felt okay, that. Okay, they motion the tight end three over. Three technique. Went outside the tackle, the left, surely. trying to come downhill. He feels that and was fast enough to outrun that, but then get right downhill and Latest find that G. lane. And he's too big and too fast from there. It's over. You just yeah, can't let 24 get out by itself. He's too hard to tackle. Like, every time somebody tackle him, he earned that He not just getting tackled. Fuck. Oh. Mate, you talk about size, you talk about speed, but that's elite footwork right there. His acceleration is dumb. He missed like three games, he's the third lead in Russia in the league. Now imagine if he was a big talker. You know, imagine that. Because he'd be able to back it up. And it would he'd be a real character. You know, he'd, he'd be... Uh, I don't know, is he going to do a Col Colby Covington and completely change his persona to suit his skill level? I say do it. We'll forget about him because he's so quiet. I think so too. I say do it. I think so too. I've always been told closed mouths don't get fed. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> he's like a prototype running back, you know, good speed. He'll run you over. His stiff arm is mean. I'm so glad that I'm on my side because, you know, my personal opinion, he's the best back in the league. Yeah, he might just be. He might just be. He might, he, yeah, he might be becoming one of my, well, certainly in my top three. You know, I'd probably have him in my top five, maybe top seven at the moment. But he's getting up there. He's getting up there. Anyways, guys, fuck, that was fun. That was a really good one. Anyways, guys, in the next one, we're looking at Mark Andrews, tight end for the Ravens. I don't know too much about him. I did see him receive a touchdown pass from Lamar Jackson in a previous video, but apart from that, I got no idea. But that's what this video series is all about. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, and good luck, Nick Chubb. Let's get another 1,000 yards. In fact, you know what? I'd say Nick Chubb, with a decent offensive line, could be the next guy to get in that 2,000-yard club, that, that exclusive eight-person 2,000-yard rushing yard club and what a what a what a club it is um ain't nothing better cheers guys and catch you later